briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the United States v. Moore case of 1979, the concept of the double jeopardy clause was critically examined. The question arose, can an accused person who halts their trial before the finalization of their guilt or innocence verdict be subjected to another prosecution without it being deemed a violation of double jeopardy? The case itself finds its roots in the Metropolitan Police Department of the District of Columbia. An investigation was initiated following accusations of possible corruption and bribery involving the police and a local business, Bosco's Carryout. The department's Internal Affairs Division had been covertly observing the establishment until their cover was exposed. To safeguard their true intentions, the division circulated a false story. One of those officers, David H. Moore, found himself at the center of the scandal. Moore was indicted for perjury before a grand jury but tried to backtrack on his testimony. The district court dismissed Moore's case, but the government rejected this ruling and decided to challenge it. Moore's attempt to invoke a statutory provision that protects recanting witnesses was thwarted when it was established that it did not apply in this instance, as the court found evidence that Moore knowingly lied during his testimony. The pivotal takeaway from the case was the court's interpretation and application of the recantation provision in Section 1623, D, of the 1970 Organized Crime Control Act. According to the court, the provision is only available to perjurers who did not intentionally lie during their testimony, and if their false testimony has had no substantial bearing on the proceeding, the accused must also be able to prove that they fall into this exemption. Moore failed to meet these specific criteria. The case was sent back to the district court for additional proceedings. What started as an investigation into a local business ended up becoming a landmark case that would scrutinize the nuances of the Double Jeopardy Clause. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.